uh, the information that is being circulated is that women of non motukoita descent but married to Motukoitabuans will not be allowed to vote in this election. There are conflicting information and we are confused and we fear that if this is not clarified by polling day, it will be too late and that confusion can cause disruption and chaos on polling day for the Motukoita Assembly. So if we can find out or we can tell the Motukoita voting population whether the women can vote, those who are married to Motukoita Buens or not, and if they are allowed to vote, I would welcome that because that's what's that's been the practice in the 2016 by-election which put me into office and also the Motukoita Assembly general elections held in 2013 where Motukoita wi uh, women of non-Motukoita descent were allowed to vote. So if they allow it this time around, I'd welcome that. But if they say that Motukoita, non-Motukoita women are not allowed to vote, then I would totally disagree with that because then we are contradicting ourselves. We allowed them to vote in 2013, we allowed them to vote in my by-election in 2016, but in 2018 we're disallowing them. Now if there is a reason for that, as the Councillor for Babukori and as a member of the Motukoi Tabo Assembly, I would like to know who gave that directive, whose decision was it that this law be introduced, if that's the, if that's the case. Because